Biomobi is a registry of web services used in bioinformatics. It allows interoperability between biological data hosts and analytical services by annotating services with terms taken from standard ontologies. Biomobi is released under the Artistic License. The Biomobi Project The Biomobi project began at the model organism Bring Your Own Database Interface Conference Moby Dick, held in Emma Lake, Saskatchewan on September 21, 2001. It stemmed from a conversation between Mark D. Wilkinson and Susanna Lewis during a one gene ontology developers meeting at the Carnegie Institute, Stanford, where the functionalities of the GenQuire and Apollo genome annotation tools were being discussed and compared. The lack of a simple standard that would allow these tools to interact with the myriad of data sources required to accurately annotate a genome was a critical need of both systems. Funding for the Biomobi project was subsequently adopted by Genome Prairie 2 2002-2005, Genome Alberta 3 2005 date, in part through Genome Canada 4, a not-for-profit institution leading the Canadian XOMIC initiatives. There are two main branches of the Biomobi project. One is a web service-based approach, while the other utilizes semantic web technologies. This article will refer only to the web service specifications. The other branch of the project, Semantic Mobi, is described in a separate entry. <laughs> Mobi The MOBI project defines three ontologies that describe biological data types, biological data formats, and bioinformatics analysis types. Most of the interoperable behaviors seen in MOBI are achieved through the object data format and namespace data type ontologies. The MOBI namespace ontology is derived from the cross-reference abbreviations list of the Gene Ontology Project. It is simply a list of abbreviations for the different types of identifiers that are used in bioinformatics. For example, GenBank has GI identifiers that are used to enumerate all of their sequence records. This is defined as NCBI underscore GI in the namespace ontology. The MOBI object ontology is an ontology consisting of as A, has A, and has relationships between data formats. For example, a DNA sequence is a generic sequence and has a string representing the text of the sequence. All data in MOBI must be represented as some type of MOBI object. An XML serialization of this ontology is defined in the MOBI API such that any given ontology node has a predictable XML structure. Thus, between these two ontologies, a service provider and or a client program can receive a piece of MOBI XML, and immediately know both its structure, and its intent semantics. The final core component of MOBI is the MOBI Central Web Service Registry. MOBI Central is aware of the object, namespace and service ontologies, and thus can match consumers who have in hand MOBI data, with service providers who claim to consume that data type or some compatible ontological data type or to perform a particular operation on it. This semantic matching helps ensure that only relevant service providers are identified in a registry query, and moreover, ensures that the in-hand data can be passed to that service provider verbatim. As such, the interaction between a consumer and a service provider can be partially or fully automated, as shown in the G-Browse Mobi and Ahab clients respectively. <laughs> Biomobi and RDF, OWL Biomobi does not, for its core operations, utilize the RDF or OWL standards from the W3C. This is in part because neither of these standards were stable in 2001, when the project began, and in part because the library support for these standards were not commodity in any of the most common languages i.e. Perl and Java at that time. Nevertheless, the Biomobi system exhibits what can only be described as semantic web-like behaviors. 
The Biomobi object ontology controls the valid data structures in exactly the same way as an OWL ontology defines an RDF data instance. Biomobi web services consume and generate Biomobi XML, the structure of which is defined by the Biomobi object ontology. As such, Biomobi web services have been acting as prototypical semantic web services since 2001, despite not using the eventual RDF OWL standards. However, Biomobi does utilize the RDF OWL standards, as of 2006, for the description of its objects, namespaces, service, and registry. Increasingly, these ontologies are being used to govern the behavior of all Biomobi functions using DL reasoners. Biomobi clients There are several client applications that can search and browse the Biomobi registry of services. One of the most popular is the Taverna workbench built as part of the Migrid project. The first Biomobi client was G-Browse Mobi, written in 2001 to allow access to the prototype version of Biomobi services. G Browse Mobi 5, in addition to being a Biomobi browser, now works in tandem with the Taverna Workbench to create SCUFL workflows reflecting the G Browse Mobi browsing session that can then be run in a high throughput environment. The Seahawk 6 applet also provides the ability to export a session history as a Taverna workflow, in what constitutes a programming by example functionality. The Ahab client is a fully automated data mining tool. Given a starting point, it will discover, and execute, every possible Biomobi service and provide the results in a clickable interface. See also Open Bioinformatics Foundation SADI The Semantic Automated Discovery and Integration Framework